Alright, hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Carissa, or you can call me Kari, but today I'm going to be introducing to y'all my new current household. If you watch my single mom apartment renovation, I mentioned that I was so inspired by the apartment and I needed a new current household, so I was going to make me one. Well, I finally created a family. I played them all night last night. I am already attached and it's a problem. Every single time I create a current household, I just get so attached, I fall in love with them, and I put so much into their stories, whether it's, you know, my personal gameplay or my Let's Plays, I want them to have a storyline and just it be very detailed and all of that, so I just, I want to share it with people, so I really like this family, and if I continue to be attached to this family like I am, maybe Torres family is going to be a problem, <laughs> but um, yeah, I guess I'm just going to update y'all once a month on where this family is. If you guys enjoy this family and the updates, I may use them, um, switch them from current household maybe to a new Let's Play once a new expansion comes out or something like that. I don't know if we'll see, but anyways, sorry for the long introduction. Let me just go ahead and introduce you to my family here. Um, I got her eating at the worst possible time. Like, that was a terrible angle. I'm so sorry. But this is our single mom. Her name is Carmen Diaz. She is a Latina, as you can tell. Oh, my God, y'all. She is beautiful. And she has got this long, beautiful hair. And a, just, she's beautiful, okay? <laughs> she's beautiful. And this is her daughter, Camille Santana. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> her face right now she's like get the camera out of my face anyways yeah her name is Camille Santana so she does not have her mom's last name as you can tell she has her dad's last name so let me just go ahead and explain to you what happened and introduce you to some of the other characters in this little gameplay of mine all right so this is um Carmen's ex-boyfriend his name is Al Santana he is the definition of a fuckboy he Really, I thought he was going to be a piece of trash dad um, because what happened was they dated. They wasn't like very serious, but like they were supposed to be exclusive. That's what she thought. And they had been dating for a few months. Well, she got pregnant and he just kind of like dipped out. Um, and so they kind of like broke up. But then when she got closer to going into labor, he came back and was like, you know what? I, I want to be in my child's life. I'm sorry. You know, I love you. I want to be with you. So she like moved in with him and she was really excited to start a family with him. And he cheated on her. And so this is who he cheated on her with. Her name is Sierra Stanton. Um, so as you can see, she really does not like either one of them. Um, so she moved out, and this is her apartment. It is my single mother renovation apartment. It's really nice. For those of you who did not see the speed build, go check it out. But anyways, so I thought that he would not be a good dad. I thought that he would just kind of like check out and not want anything to do with his daughter. But he's actually, y'all, an amazing father. And oh my god, I, I hate it because like... It kind of just like ruined my little storyline here. But at the same time, it's really cute. He literally comes over all the time. I have to make him leave. He comes over, just walks on in, and he just pays so much attention to her. He's so attentive to her. He brings her toys, and he's just over here probably more than he is um, over at his apartment with Sierra Stanton, his little girlfriend. Um, I believe he is in the, yeah, he's in the entertainer career. He is a musician, and... Carmen's traits um, I think the reason why she was like so into him is because she's a music lover and you know you know how it is <laughs> them little band boys oh my god they'd be looking good they'd be singing you and Sarah so she just kind of fell for him which is a problem but yeah he is a douchebag but he's a good father so I mean I'm, I'm happy that he's he's a good dad I guess <laughs> um, and then also there are two more sims let me introduce you to them real quick um, is her best friend Jamie Moore they're like absolutely best friends and she just got married to Patrick Moore who Camille is uh, not Camille Carmen is also very good friends with and Jamie is pregnant um just told her best friend Carmen that she is pregnant and it is a little boy so our little girl here will have somebody to play with which is very exciting but anyways yeah that is their story and the other sims and you know my little my little storyline here but anyways it is eight o'clock in the morning and we're just gonna play a little bit in their day um so carmen is about to have to go to work i mentioned in the build that oh she's pooping on herself dang it 
I mentioned that there was a career I picked up. It is obviously like a custom content like career, but it is a customer service specialist. So she's only level one now. Um, and see, you can, let me see. She only makes 25 an hour and it's only from nine to one. So she makes like a hundred dollars a day. And so when she gets promoted, which I'm hoping she'll get promoted today, but she can choose from a call center agent, concierge, flight attendant, technical support representative, dispatcher, bank teller, gas station attendant, travel agent, pizza delivery driver, customer service representative. So I really like that career because see how low it pays and I just see her, you know, maybe she got pregnant really young and, you know, her family's not really in her life. She kind of grew up poor herself and so she didn't get to go to college. So, you know, it's not ideal for her to make like a lot of money right now. So I really, really like that career. So I definitely recommend you going and snagging that. I will link that down below if you're interested. Um, oh, she's going to work. So I will see you guys when she gets back. All right, guys, so she has returned from work, and she got a promotion. So we get to pick, oh, my God, there's so many things. Okay, um, I think they're all 25 an hour, and I'm pretty sure that that is as far as you can get. I really don't think that there's any more promotions after this, but I could be wrong. So we have bank teller, call center agent, concierge, customer service representative, dispatcher, flight attendant, food delivery, gas station attendant, technical support representative, and travel agent. Um, I think we're going to do a bank teller. I think that, sh that would suit her well. So same hours, uh, 9 to 1, and she is off on the weekend. So perfect. Oh, God. Penny Pizzazz is our neighbor, obviously, and she's a little bitch. She stays freaking woohooing and partying all night long, waking us up, waking freaking Camille up, and it pisses me off. So, um, it's not gonna let me holler at her. Well, whatever then. I'm sure, um, Al will come over here. Um, okay. He always comes over, but our baby girl needs a bath. She needs her diaper change. So, let's have her come over here and give Camille a bath. And I think we're going to invite over or, um, yeah, I think we're just going to invite them over because I kind of want Al to pop up. If he doesn't pop up, I'm going to be low-key pissed because I want him to pop up because I want you guys to meet him. But I just have a feeling that he's not going to pop up, pop up when I am recording. He's going to do it off camera. Like, ten, like, I will say, okay, bye, go home, and he'll come right back. It's kind of annoying. But I think she's kind of glitch because it's... See, that little sleep is stuck there, so I need to reset her in just a second, y'all. Oh, my God. Um, but, yeah, let's bathe a little Camille here real quick. Come on now. But, yeah, I don't know. I really, I like the story behind them. I just, see, pro tip here, somebody had reached out to me on Instagram um, and asked me, you know, give me some tips on how to play The Sims, like, how do you play it? And I told them, even in my personal gameplay, I like to add a storyline, I like to add drama, I like to create more characters, that way I just, I don't get bored. Because I could have just moved them two in here, and it would be kind of boring if you ask me, because there would be, like, no story behind them, for real, except, oh, she's a single mom, and she moved away, but, I mean, no, like, I wanted her to have friends, and, like, I wanted the baby daddy to be in the life, and, like I said, I thought he was going to be a terrible dad, but it turns out he's actually a really good father. Um, I don't think that they'll ever get back together, um, just because she just, she's that type of girl that she don't play like that, like, she, She's just not going to be somebody's second option. And she kind of believes, you know, once a cheater, always a cheater. And, yeah, they're a terrible match, as you can see. And he also hates children. So that's why me and her, we're both shocked that he is showing up. And he's so involved in freaking Camille's life, which is great. But, I mean, still. Oh, my God, look at that outfit. She's so cute. Okay, and I believe she's hungry, too. So let's come over here and put her in. Or let's give her some food first. Yeah. All right, um, let's give her, uh, let's do peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, okay, look, I don't know if y'all noticed, but in my last few Let's Plays, ever since I got the, um, the, uh, not the lightning mod, but the color, sh color reshade, um, program, and I 
started playing it in The Sims, which has been a lifesaver. I actually had a different preset for the longest time, and it was um, by Harry. It was called Light Brigade, and it was very, very light and bright. Um, and I tried to mess around with it myself, you know, and uh, figure out how to manipulate it to my suitings. And I just, it was so confused, and I could not do it. So, anyways, I am now using... Um, Urban Sims, Jenna Urban Sims preset Leo, which is my favorite. I really love it. It's so freaking pretty. But anyways, yeah, just pointing that out. If you see that it's not as bright as it was before, it's because I changed my lighting preset. But anyways, I'm trying to reset her. Yes, okay. Jesus, I hate it when this happens, when it gets all freaking glitchy. And I don't know what's wrong with my mice. My mice. I don't know what's wrong with my mice. I don't have mice, y'all. I swear. My freaking um mouse. Like, damn. It's pissing me off. It doesn't ever do what I want it to do. I click on something and it, it, it doesn't. Oh my. Like, what the hell? Alright, whatever. You know what? Okay, let's just open this up. Our child is starving. But I don't know why everything's got to be so complicated right now. Um, I obviously still get pissed off even in my <laughs> current household. Oh, oh, now you're putting her down. Okay, okay, well, you know what? Maybe, I think Camille was probably the one that was like, Mom, I'm freaking hungry, okay? <laughs> All right, come on. I don't know why it's being so slow. It was running so well last night. Wait, what did that say? What? The, ha oh, hackathon. Oh, yeah, Geek Town's happening. Geek Con, Geek Town, Geek Con is happening. Um, and that actually may be why it's kind of slowed down right now. I've noticed that when the festivals come in town, that um, it kind of starts to like slow down in these apartments if your sim like lives around here. So I'm, I'm fingers crossed that that's the problem. But anyways, okay, Al, you can show up anytime now. You know. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was him, but no, it's freaking that little snatch basket penny pizzazz. Okay, you know what? We're just going to call and invite Al over because I want you to meet him. And we're going to invite over her two friends as well. So, let's invite Al, Patrick, and Jamie over for a little bit. We don't have a lot of room for all these sims, but you know what? That's okay. She needs to watch some TV. She's, like, very bored. And so far, I haven't met any, like, prospects for her any men or women whatever i haven't met anybody for her yet this is literally only their third day um no actually maybe like their fourth i don't remember but anyways i created them put everything together last night and i played them for a few hours um but anyways yeah we haven't met anybody we've met akira and pranav pranav um which i could probably give him a makeover and you know Al would rather not come. Really? Okay, so now he's being a little bitch and he's not going to come over. But literally, y'all, I swear I'm not lying. He that kept popping up over here. He would not leave us alone. But now, I guess he's kind of pissed off because she kind of like hollered at him like, Dude, go home. How is it that, you know, you don't want anything to do with me and the baby you freaking made that very clear when you cheated on me and you put your own sexual like fuckboy tendencies above you know your baby mama and your freaking child so yeah why is it now that you want to come over here and be all up in my business every time i turn around you're walking in my freaking door i mean are you trying to be the parent parent are you trying to outdo me so she kind of got into it with him because he would not leave so i guess he's kind of um I hope she didn't push him away because I don't want him to be absent. I did at first, but I thought it was really sweet that he was coming over anyways. But anyways, yeah, he she probably just pissed him off, but he'll get over it. He'll get over it. Um, but, I mean, I did invite Jamie and Patrick over. Are they coming? Not everyone can make it. Why are you crying? From critically low hunger Bitch, eat! Sorry, I should not cuss at my Sims. I'm so sorry. I just... <sighs> oh my god. No! I hate it when they get in the freaking high chair and they start hollering for freaking mama to come put them down and they don't eat. I mean... <laughs> Gosh dang, it's so freaking annoying. I hate the high chairs. I hate the high chairs. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. 
Anyways, whatever. Holy crap. She has got some problems. Let's just bump that up a little bit. Oops, cheated. Sorry. Let's bump this up a little bit because I really, I want her to be potty trained. All right, please eat your food. I made that just for you. Please eat. I know you're hungry, but there you go. Okay. Whew. I just hate it when, I, I just feel like it's being very glitchy and slow today. And I'm not liking it. It's pissing me off. And like, Al is ruining my story time here for my current household. And I'm low-key pissed off. But yeah, let me, I mean, where's all my friends? I invited them over. Y'all are ruining my little part here. I'm trying to introduce all of my friends here on YouTube to everybody. Oh, here's Al. Here's everybody. They just decided to come down here. Okay, that's cool. Whatever. All right, so this is her father, Al Santana. He is, okay, well, he's a snack, all right? He's very handsome, and he knows it. That's the problem. Um, and then, I guess, oh, Jamie and her little pregnant belly. I guess she was hungry and wanted to come down here, which, okay, I understand. But anyways, this is her best friend, Jamie, and her husband, Patrick. Um, whatever. I guess y'all can hang out down here. It's, it's whatever. I really don't care. I don't care. Um, oh my god. Okay. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up, I think. Um, I didn't want it to be, like, very long because it is just an update. I don't want y'all getting too attached either. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, guys, I just want you to let me know what you think about this family, about their storyline. Um, do you want me to continue giving monthly updates on them? Would you like me to consider them for a future Let's Play when the opportunity arises? I'm definitely not starting anything new right now. I feel like I have too much going on at the moment. Ah, oh, here he is. I told y'all. I told y'all he would come over. He, he can't stay away. He just can't. But anyways, yeah, their relationship's still not doing very good. But he does come over to see Camille, which is fine. Thank you for coming over, like... You did good because she was going to get pissed if you really didn't show up because you can't be playing with this little baby's emotions like that, boy. Anyways, guys, yeah, let me know what you think, what you want to see from this family. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next video. It's silent now, we don't say words. We're just looking at each other